So we increasingly uh, understand that what happens not only in the esophagus and the stomach, but further down the gut, the gut in the small bowel can impact upon esophageal symptoms. And small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, uh, when present, can present with regurgitation and heartburn and other symptoms which are indistinguishable from those called, caused by gastroesophageal reflux disease. So again, all of these tests will be tailored according to patient symptoms, but in patients who have a lot of bloating, who have a lot of belching, and we suspect small intestinal bacterial overgrowth may be a contributory factor to those symptoms, uh, we will also request a lactulose hydrogen stroke methane breath test, which will test to see if patients have got small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. And again, this is a simple test. We send people a, a kit to their home, they swallow liquid, and then over a couple of hours, they breathe into a series of bottles. And that will tell us if patients have got small intestinal bacterial overgrowth.